Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a fun and dramatic Bollywood inspired look and I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer and I'm using the shade 40NN. I'm just taking a smaller buffing brush and just applying the product to the lid and a little past my brow. It's important to prep your eyelids before a eyeshadow application. It's just going to help everything look smoother and stay longer. So after that I go in with the Anastasia setting powder and I'm using the shade Vanilla with a nice big fluffy brush and I'm just going to buff that out and set my eyelid. I'm now going in with the Anastasia Powder Brow Duo and this is in the shade Granite. I'm taking that darker shade and I'm using their 7B brush to apply the product and I'm forming that outer tail of my brow with the darker end of the product. Naturally my brows are a little thinner so I do fill them in quite a bit towards the end of them. Once I apply that darker shade, I'm going to take the spoolie end of the brush and just buff that out to make those look more natural. Once I feel like those are symmetrical and nice and blended out, I'm going to go in and just take that lighter shade of the Powder Duo with the angled brush side and I'm just going to do small little flicks to create the image of individual hairs. Once I'm happy with how the brows are looking and I've created the desired shape, I'm going to go in with an angled brush and use that same concealer we started with to prep the eyelids and I'm just going to clean the bottom of those up. Now if you wanted a more natural feathered look, you could skip this step, but I just like that very clean look for my eyebrows. I'm then going to take that same concealer and I'm going to use a flat brush and do the same thing to the top of my brow. This step just brings your brow shape to the next level. If I were doing more of an everyday look, I probably wouldn't even clean those up. I'd do more of a feathered brow look, but today because we're doing more of a glamorous look, I'm just making sure that those are nice and clean. I'm out of brow gel now, so I actually just went in with my mascara wand and lightly set those hairs with a little bit of black mascara and then cleaned them up with that spoolie end. So today I'm mainly going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection, and this palette is the Bling Boss palette. So I'm going to go in with a nice big fluffy brush and I'm going to start with the shade Hush Hush and I'm just taking the product and I'm using a windshield wiper motion going back and forth and then doing small circular motions to blend that product through. I'm taking whatever's left on that brush and putting the excess all the way down on my lid. This is just going to prime everything and make a nice base for the look we're going for today. I'm then going to use a little bit smaller of a brush and I'm going to use the shade Pizzazz and I'm going to do that same motion. I'm not going to go up quite as high as I did with that first shade. I'm just going to continue to keep buffing that out 
I want this to look nice and blended throughout the crease. I love taking a couple light shades to start and just layering them on top of each other. It really gives that crease a nice dimension. Once I feel like I've got some nice color packed into there, I'm going to go in now with the shade Sparks and I'm going to use that same size brush that I just used and I'm going to just pack that product out towards the outer half of my eye. I'm not going to bring it up too much farther past my crease, just lightly barely touching the skin, blending that product up and towards my brow bone. Don't be scared about the product underneath the eye. You can just take a makeup wipe like so and clean everything up and sharpen up the look. And then last but not least, I just wanted to add a little bit darker of a shade towards that very outer corner, creating more of like a cat eye look without using an eyeliner. So I just took the pigment and instead of brushing, I just did a light pat. Just lightly blending towards the inner part of your eyelid. I left a little bit of room between that super dark shade and where the red stopped because once I put on that lighter shade that's going to go in the corner, they'll just help create more of that ombre effect. So again, not too worried about those outer corners, I just take my makeup wipe and clean that up and sharpen that line. Then I go in with the Anastasia Loose Glitter, and this is in the shade Sand, and I just take a nice flat brush and I'm going to dip it in that glitter glue from Anastasia as well, and I'm just going to start working my way and marrying up that lighter sparkly shade with that outer corner that we just did. I like to always just set a base with the glitter and then I go back in with a fluffier brush. I felt like I had a little bit more dimension to add on the outer corner so I just took a little bit more of that buried treasure. Usually I'll take some setting spray and just wet the brush a little bit and go back into that loose glitter to create a pop right on that inner corner. And you can see I'm just taking that nice and fluffy blending brush that I used for my crease and just dipping it back in that loose glitter and it really creates that pop. Then I went in with the Tarte Lashes and I used the Heartbreaker. Prepped my face with the Morphe Equalizer Primer. I just used a damp beauty blender and just put a little bit around my T-zone. I'm then going in with the NARS Longwear Foundation and this is in the shade Fiji. I'm now going to take my Morphe foundation brush and I'm just going to buff that out on the skin. I like to take a foundation brush first to the face and then I go back through with a damp beauty blender just to pick up any excess product that may make the face look cakey. I'm just going to blend lightly into my hairline and then I'm going to take that same NARS Longwear Foundation but this is the shade Barcelona and I'm just taking that same beauty blender on the big fat side and I'm just going in and doing around my face to contour. For concealer take the Anastasia Luminous Foundation and I'm just going to take another beauty blender that's nice and damp and this is the shade 130N and I'm just going to go under my eyes and through my T-zone. I'm going to take that same flat brush that I used to clean up the brow and I'm just going to clean up that outer corner. I'm then going in with the Anastasia setting powder in the shade Vanilla and I'm just going in and baking under my eyes, my chin, and the top of my nose and forehead. 
Once you give that a couple minutes to set, I'm just going to go in and brush off any excess powder. Take a big fluffy brush from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush collection and I'm just going to set the face one more time with the Anastasia setting powder. With a bronzer and I'm just going around those areas to contour. Once I've applied the desired amount of bronzer, I just go back in with my fluffy brush and just blend everything out with that same setting powder. Create those cheekbones with the flat side of my beauty blender. Just do the bridge of my nose with a little bit of bronzer. While the cheekbones are setting, again with that spark shade and I'm just going to buff out the under eye just to create some dimension. And then with a smaller definition brush with the shade Mystic, line the underside of my eye. Put a little bit of mascara on to blend my natural lashes to the strip lashes and did my under eye. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe 9B palette and a little bit of MAC highlighter. And then to complete this look I used the Anastasia Dewy setting spray. Finish the look off with a red liquid lip. And that is my look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.